AI can have a very broad definition, very many different <coughs> techniques. Mm. Uh, so how, in your work, do you try to apply all of these different techniques to different organizational and societal uh, uses? Okay, I, I would say that we approach it the other way around. We don't bother with what kind of AI technology that, that is used. We, we're looking at the use as such. What is it used for? Uh, in, in different sort of organizational activities. Uh, and it could, I mean, sometimes it's a bit sort of combination of different sort of technologies. Um, so so we, we start from the actual application and use of it. So I would say that it is a sort of little bit less important. Uh, of course, it's inter interesting to, for us to understand, trying to understand <laughs> as not being an engineer, so trying to understand what can the different technologies do? Of course, we need to sort of approach it that way too. But we start from the the, the applications, you can say. Uh, whether we are studying it in marketing activities, in procurement activities, whether it's uh, studied in, 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 in how management to make decisions with support of AI, etc., etc. But um, uh, we, we, we're trying to cover a, a quite a broad set of, um, you can say, organizational functions where, where AI can be applied. And in different functions, there are different sort of technologies used. <coughs> and the results of your work and mm. uh, what your research is about, how can businesses try to apply your studies in their work? How can businesses apply different mm. Uh, mm. AI uh, mm. techniques in their work? Mm. I think what what we uh, our re research is trying to do is to, to trying to uncover, for example, what are the different sort of enablers and also maybe inhibitors, hindrances for implementing AI. And, and I mean, our f our end results end up very much in words and models and concepts uh, and ideas. Uh, so hopefully, some of these um, uh, you can say empirical studies that we are doing following uh, companies, whether they are uh, AI developers or whether they are users of AI, what are the different sort of um, uh, challenges they are facing when, it, when implementing AI. So <coughs> the end result is maybe some in improved knowledge, increased in-depth knowledge about what are the challenges we are facing when we are implementing AI. And how can we come across that? And how are different companies and, and organizations <coughs> been handling these uh, these challenges? And, and sort of condense that knowledge into models, concepts, etc. That that's what our end end results are. So there is a sentence that is necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, would you say that? With the applications of AI, we are talking about such a concept as well. I mean, it is purely based on the absolute necessities that these companies face in applying AI, that they bring it on? Or um, I'm not sure if I understand the question. That you mean that it should be a necessity to implement AI? Uh, oh, no. I mean, necessity <laughs> simply that a company wants to do something mm. and... Uh, the best solution perhaps is through the use of AI. Okay. Is that when yeah. they yeah. think of yeah. implementing it? Mm. I want to mm. uh, okay. take a yeah. deeper dive in uh, yeah. when they... <coughs> I think you, you can approach that from uh, different angles, I think. Uh, I think what I see today is that there's a lot of general sort of buzz and interest in all types of organizations, small and, and big business organizations, and also in, in, in public organizations and governmental agencies, etc., which we are interviewing right now. There's a big buzz and a big uh, interest in, in AI, but I think uh, those who are um, successful, actually, with implementing AI, they have not started from, started from, well, they have started from sort of understanding a little bit more what AI is, have some kind of, um, of basic understanding of AI, but then they have sort of turned to the, uh, the organization, what are our uh, present sort of pressing issues? What is it that we, uh, we are uh, struggling with in the organization? Whether it 
it relates to in, uh, in increased efficiency in certain areas. So I think the the uh, the implementation of AI. That's maybe if I should u use the word should. Uh, I, I seldom do that, but <laughs> I think you should start with the problem. What what kind of problem is it that AI should solve? And understanding in depth that that issue, then I think it's easier for organizations to start using AI as the solution to, to that problem. Um, and it's often, I, I would say in the beginning, it often starts with some kind of um, efficiency issue. That is, how can we automate certain activities in order to be uh, more efficient? Uh, I think that's maybe the, the most low-hanging fruit for AI, to I increase efficiency. And then we are sort of touching upon these uh, sort of big questions about labor, et cetera, et cetera. But I think that's where, where companies are starting. Um, th that is, how can AI help us to, to uh, increase or improve our um, efficiency, y use our resources, whether it's personnel, in a more efficient way, reduce the number of work hours for, for certain maybe more tedious type of, of um, uh, work activities. Um, so there, I think we have uh, an important. Um, uh, I don't know if I would call it necessity, but but yeah, well, uh, that that's I think where, where there's an e e where there is a very good way for organizations to start thinking about AI as the tool 